What is going on YouTube? One on the X-Room here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. I'm so excited. Finally get my hands on a 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands Edition. There are so many little features, so many really, really brilliant, and I do mean brilliant little quirks about this SUV that make it the ultimate utility sport utility vehicle so come along with me we're going to go over all those features then i'm going to take it out on a drive if you're new to this channel welcome hit that subscribe button if you like this video hit give me a thumbs up be sure to hit that little bell for notifications for when i do upload all right so there is a ton to go over this brand new ford bronco because it's just it's so new i love the styling of it we'll start there the front end it's a boxy looking vehicle just like the old school one so they kind of paid homage to it i love these leds apparently depending on the model you get all of this and this are leds or just this is an led and this is just another lighting being that this is the badlands is not quite the very top but it's definitely on the higher end especially with the features it's more this one's more focused on off-roading as you can see it's already done that once today but and I love the front end of it so far, the boxiness, I love it. Now, let's talk about what's under the hood. It's a 2.3 liter EcoBoost twin turbo, really efficient motor. You know, it puts out around 275 horsepower. I've seen someone say around 300 as well. Not really sure, it might be the 2.7 they were referring to, but it's also 325 pound feet of torque. So it's got that low end grunt, especially for something that's off-roading. And as you'll see, the rock crawling prowess that this bad boy has. Like I said, this video is going to be all about the features and a little bit of the drive. And then the next video we do with this Bronco is gonna be the off-roading fun stuff. So one of the really awesome features that I wanna point out here that was very well thought out are the mirrors. These mirrors aren't connected to the doors. And the reason for that is these doors come off and like in Jeeps, the mirrors go with them. And then you drive around a vehicle that's mirrorless or you know illegal for a sense so ford was smart enough to put the mirrors attached to the chassis at least at the front end so when you remove the doors you still got these bad boys how awesome is that so something that's really interesting with these ford broncos is they had a lot of issues getting them out to their customers and something that ford did to sort of ease the burden of people complaining and missing them or give them these little packages. And what this is, is a hammock. They thought, clever marketing, hang in there. <laughs> like how silly is that? But Ford knew that people were getting annoyed so they gave them these nice little packages. As you can see this back end, it's all rubber. And then there's another little hidden gym back here. You can get these lock boxes put on your Bronco so you can put your very valuable stuff in here. Also, this piece here is a genuine Ford product. It is their little storage rack and you put all your little knickknacks and things you need when you go off-roading or if you go hunting or what have you. It really, again, puts that utility in an SUV, the sport utility vehicle. It is exactly that. To kind of add to the amazing engineering and the thought that went into this stuff. So you see this, the ceiling, this roof gets disconnected. Obviously there's lights up there. So what do you gotta do when you gotta disconnect it to put it away? Well, forward, disconnect there, and then put it right here. They have a storage place for this, so you can actually hide it. And same thing with the water for your rear wiper there, you got a storage place for that line when you take the roof off. How awesome is that? Just a level of detail that make this thing just ultimate in utility, <laughs> I love it. Another brilliant feature that Ford came up with with this Bronco is the wire harnesses. And when you remove them, there's a little flap that just automatically spring loads back and covers the plug that you just pulled out. It, it's so smart. And as you see, there's these two 13 millimeter bolts, which the toolkit that's provided by Ford actually gives you. They also give you fender protectors and a door bag to put your freaking doors in. I love the thought that has gone into this Bronco. Another really awesome touch that Ford did down here are your window switches and your mirror switches. You'll notice though that they are upside down. So that's kind of silly, but they know you're not going to go like this and look at them. But because you're removing these, it makes sense, right? There are drains that are down here in the floors. So when you go through water, you can actually drain that out when you have the doors open. And this is all rubberized. How awesome is that? Again, these seats 
are set up nicely to be you know very tough and rugged they're going to last when you get them dirty and wet and everything they're going to dry out it's amazing how good this interior is for what it is it's it's not stunning by any sense of the imagination but it it's all has a purpose all right so let's now get into the nitty gritty of what this whole vehicle this Ford Bronco is all about we're gonna go over this dash then we're gonna go over this dash and kind of the different features we have inside of here so let's start this thing up it is a manual so you push the clutch in get some air flowing in here you got your typical Ford god awful sound that is we start it up and then we're gonna go look at the dash here and as you can see it's got a really nice layout and as you go through here you'll see the different tabs that show you on the right side you know your general setup all your pertinent information it even showed your turbo boost which is kind of cool <laughs> you see the revs there it's a very simplistic layout but it's kind of intuitive it's nice to see i like the off-road stuff you'll see um the inclinometers are really cool your pitch and roll or your vehicle that's a nice touch you put this little dial down here and then what happens as you push it, you'll see the modes change. You got normal and then eco because it's friendly. But I love the different styles that they have. You see this four by four shift in progress, the mud ruts, sand, Baja, rock crawl. Now, here's something really cool with rock claw. If you push the clutch in, it shifts and then as you see these guys will light up differently and the other cool thing when you adjust it your screen here you can adjust which different cameras you use and specifically your wheel camera how awesome is that that you can see your wheels and what's around them and you have your 360 awesome and obviously your front and side view split there. Really, really awesome technology. And again, that's in your rock crawl mode. Okay, so one of the things I really wanna to touch on here is that the fact that the owner's manual is all in here. There's a very small owner's manual, but it's in there and it's not very good, but this is where it's all at. So most owner's manuals, you know, they're paper, you read through them, nothing very cool this one has videos of how each one of these features on this truck or this suv work <laughs> it's so it's so cool so we'll go into this manual seat adjustment if you don't know how to manually adjust the seat you probably shouldn't be driving but there is a video on how to do this fantastic we're not going to watch it sorry guys if you're unsure on how to remove the top of this, this video will show you how to freaking do it. And it just plays it as if it's normal. How awesome is there as the integrated manual for this? It's so cool. If you want to actually search for stuff, you can put in anything and look it up really quickly. I will say the responsiveness of everything here is very, very good. You can cycle through what you want here and It'll show you the offering steps, what your actual suspension, what your drivetrains line up as, what diffs you have. Let's say I want to lock the rear diff. It shows it right there. This touchscreen is very good. The features are fantastic. Zone lighting, say you're in a dark place and you want to look at the different areas around you, especially when you have your camera settings and say you want to look at under your wheels, those lights are going to light up that section very well for you. You can go back down here to the camera setting and you can turn all the zones off. All right, so that is the deep dive of the internals of this Ford Bronco. So many awesome features. I'll tell you what, let's take it out on the road. Let's see how she drives. Again, it's a manual six speed, and there's some really cool things about this manual. Let's check them out. So one of the cool features about this Bronco is that it is a manual, and you see it is a six speed. And then you see reverse, and you're like, wait, C? Uh, yeah, that is crawl. This thing has a crawl gear. It helps you slowly move down hills or over rocks. And it puts you in a very, very low gearing so that you can actually get over them without a ton of wheel spin. And again, it helps you crawl. And to do that, see this little lever right here? You got the same thing. Most Fords are like this where you get a lift and then go to reverse to do it. Same thing with crawl. You have to go over and down by lifting this little ring here. 
kind of interesting. The Bronco feels super easy to drive. And I mean, it's no surprise. There's nothing massive about it. I mean, there's not a ton of power. And I tell you what, the sound, you don't get this vehicle because of the sound. That's not what this is meant for. And like I said, I'm doing a driving test now, but really the driving test is gonna come later when we go do some off-roading because that is where this vehicle is really gonna shine. And we're not gonna do a zero to 60 test because well, let's just say this isn't really meant for a zero to 60. One thing I will point out is there is a lane departure setting. And what's weird about it is you feel it start to really shake your hands when you start to go over the lines. And there's a little display that comes up that lets you know whether or not you're in the lines. And when you're not, it turns red, it vibrates your hand. And then all of a sudden it's letting you know, hey, idiot, get back. So it doesn't necessarily jerk the wheel or anything, but it lets you know that you're not in the space you're supposed to be. I could see this being something you could actually take on a daily basis somewhere because these seats are actually very comfortable. Being that this is the ultimate in utility and sport utility, you would expect it to not quite have the plushness or the drivability and the, the niceness while you go around turns and the, just the real planted, easy feel this particular Bronco does. And the Badlands, you know, get, being more off-road centric, it doesn't feel like it. It feels nice. It feels good. It's an easy vehicle to drive. Now we're going over some bumpier parts of this little road here. And again, as an off-roading vehicle, you expect it to be kind of harsh, kind of a lot of road noise. And it's really not the case. I will say that there's a tapping behind my head and I've heard the various complaints that the hard tops that were shipped for those that are supposed to have a hard top, this not, doesn't fit the best. There's definitely some gaps so you can hear a little wind, not a ton surprisingly, but there's a click over my left ear. And while it's not absolutely annoying, I definitely notice it. And I believe when they upgrade and they give you the hard top you're supposed to have, that'll be remedied. I'm sure of it because why else would they make you wait so long? Now I will say what's really funny is I just passed a Jeep Wrangler and I noticed the owner straight up eyeballing this Bronco. And that is the demographics and the people that the Bronco is going after. They're trying to steal those Jeep Wrangler people away. And I've ridden in a few Wranglers and while they're nice and all, they're noisy, especially when you put bigger tires like this, 33, 35s, there's a lot of road noise, there's a lot of wind noise. This has that beat for sure. A downside that I'm noticing while I drive the Bronco is the back window's massive, right? You can see a lot when you turn around and look, but when you look through the rear view mirror, it's such a squatty mirror that you don't actually, see, you have to bob up and down to actually see everything around it. And I, I don't know, maybe you could definitely put on a different mirror and fix that and you won't have any issues. But for me, I would absolutely much rather have a mirror that's a little wider. And again, this is the ultimate utility vehicle. That's something that I would want in that range. I'm gonna turn off this freaking lane departure because it is annoying. It's not that I'm swerving all over the place, but it doesn't know the lanes very well. That is one thing, the lane departure is kind of obnoxious. You can stay pretty center, but I have lines that kind of cut over in a weird spot. And the Bronco doesn't like that. The sensors are a little iffy about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome deep dive into the incredible 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands Edition because it has so many amazing features, which you just saw. We're gonna take this thing off-road here in a little bit and we'll show you that video as well as coming up. But with that, I hope you all have a good one. This was such a blast to drive and really show you all. Ford, you've done well. You all have a good one. I'm out.